guys, it's me, your boy JD, and welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, what we are going to be talking about, as you guys already saw, it is the World Balance Scotty Thompson one. And before we begin, I'd like to invite you guys to please do subscribe to the channel and of course hit the notification bell so that you guys can stay updated. So what we're going to be talking about first is obviously the box. So as you guys can see on the clip, the box is very, very a premium it's very nice and for its price point i cannot believe that you are getting a box just like this and honestly speaking before we continue gusto ko lang grant so if anyone from nike is watching this or from adidas your shoes are retailing for almost 200 dollars or 10,000 pesos here in the philippines or above 100 dollars and this sneaker is only retailing for 3,500 philippine peso or 70 to 75 dollars roughly around there and we're already getting a box just like this it's a very very nice box as you guys just heard that it's a magnetic box it's everything that you want to have in a premium shoe and i just wish that i hope you know nike i i know you can just I know you guys can do better and I hope you guys do. So anyways, going back to the box. So like what I said, the box is this very elegant box as you guys can see on the top. It does say Scott T. Thompson and it has his logo over there. And of course, on the sides, it has a signature and also says NSD, which is the Never Say Die motto of the Baranga Ginebra team. And of course, you have the World Balance logo up front and the details on the side, on the other side as well. And then once you open the box, you guys can see here the details of Scott e. Thompson's career in basketball moving forward and Scotty Thompson's career in basketball moving forward you have of course his baby pictures all the pictures of his accolades and everything and obviously when you open it you also see the Scotty Thompson tissue paper and of course you have this saying and I'm just gonna read it to you guys legends aren't just about championships and titles they're about real stories and personal wins stories that are made possible through strength brains and a lot of heart to begin stories of going against the odds, stories of underdogs and unlikely heroes, like a baller who discovers being better isn't just by being taller, to begin stories that legends are made of, begin your legend. And alongside that guys, we also get what I love about the box overall, the presentation and everything. You have this. This is the details of the sneaker. Everything about the sneaker is written here. The details, the descriptions of everything about it is something that I really, really do like. And I hope that the other brands were up and coming, even the established ones, <clears throat> Nike, Adidas, I hope you guys do this again. Because I know they did this with the LeBron 19 and I hope they do this with their other sneakers as well. Now let's talk about the sneakers. So now that we talk about the box, obviously we are now gonna be talking about this uh, very exciting sneaker because it is the, one of the very few signature sneakers for a Filipino basketball athlete. And the best part about it is it's a local brand. So let's talk about it. And of course, in my initial impressions, we always start with the traction. So as you guys can see on the clip, it is the tried and tested herringbone pattern. And obviously I feel like it's gonna grip very well. And one of the things that I like about this is sure ako na durable siya. And the reason kung bad sure ako about it is because this is World Balance. And World Balance does pride itself in creating sneakers or basketball shoes that are very durable kasi Obviously, sa ating mga Pinoy, sa ating mga Filipinos, halos lahat tayo sa labas naglalaro. There's a very high chance na halos lahat ng bumili nito ay gagamitin natin sa court na gawa sa semento. And that's one thing that World Balance does pride themselves with the durability of the outsoles that they do have. And I'm excited because you have a signature shoe that you can use on the outdoor court. Pwede mo siyang pangharabas and everything. So as you guys can see on the clip, no, you have those three red spots and that actually does nothing. And then on the heel area, you also have the World Balance logo. But other than that, we still need to test this out if they actually buy it very well. So performance review guys, definitely gonna be uploaded very, very soon once I get these guys out. Out there. So now moving up to the cushioning setup, this is something that I do appreciate that World Balance finally started doing. So if you guys have been subscribed to the channel, have been following me for quite some time, you guys know that one of the things that I've been telling World Balance is, lagyan nila ng branding yung kanilang foam setup, yung mga 
ginagamit na lang portioning setup, dapat talaga lagyan na nila ng identity yun or branding or pangalan. And the reason for that is because tayo, mga consumers, once we hear that certain branding or that certain cushioning setup, like with Boost, if you hear Boost, you think of Adidas. If you think of Zoom, you think of Nike. Diba? So now, with World Balance, they finally released this one with S-Ride. And definitely, guys, from my initial wear, I can definitely say that there's significant improvements from the foam that they used with the other World Balance sneakers that I've tested so far. So with this one, I can definitely say there is an improvement, but I do feel like I really need to break it in pa din because there's still a little bit of stiffness on the cushioning setup that I can feel. So I really feel like I still need to go out, grab a few rebounds, go for a layup, go for a drive so that I can actually break down the foam and feel how it really does feel like, you know. Now, as you guys can see, I was pointing out dun sa part na to, there's this like black area right here. And when I initially saw the sneaker, I thought that that was the torsional plate. And then when I felt it, I thought that it was also part of the S ride. When I read the descriptions of the design, it actually says that it's an injection torsion plate, you know. So this is actually a shank plate, but it's really, really soft. So I'm not sure if it's really a shank plate made out of plastic or is it a shank plate that's made out of rubber. So I'm not really sure with that but again all I can say is I'm very very excited. So if they say that this is an injection torsional plate then that means you have another base of support right there. Now moving up to the materials this is actually one of my favorite parts about the sneaker and we are going to be talking about the two parts. So first of all we're going to be talking about the inner part of the sneaker. So for the inner part of the upper materials you do have that knit that sock fit construction as the description says or the sock like fit and then what this reminds me of is actually it reminds me this ankle collar right here this part does remind me a lot of the world balance court legend 2.0 and also reminds me a lot of the curry 8 chinese new year colorway that particular colorway so it reminds me a lot of that and then one of the things that i like about this is number one wala siyang tongue so it's one booty construction so you just slip in there and you're good to go you don't need to adjust the tongue or whatever but going here dito sa upper material na nandito you do have these holes or these perforations that allows for breathability so that when you play in the sneaker, hindi siya mainit. So, kapag tumatakbo ka na, kapag pinagpapawisan na yung pa mo, hindi siya mainit guys. So, that's one thing that I like about this one because it's not the knit material that they used is not as thick as the ones in the World Balance Court Legend but it is thin and it's very very stretchy so I feel like this is gonna be a very good material. Now, moving up to the other outer side of the materials, you do have this engine translucent TPU mesh. So, this one does remind me a lot of the LeBron 19 no? and the reason for that is because the LeBron 19 upper is similarly constructed so you have this outer layer of this plastic like mesh and underneath that is the knit and one of the things that I do like this and I appreciate it a lot is because again most of us are gonna be using this on the outdoor court so if we're gonna be using this on the outdoor court gusto natin maging durable siya and that's what the TPU material offers us so that's one thing that I really really do like and then of course on the toe area you do have that added layer of fuse material which is very very great and then moving up to the back the heel counter is actually made out of genuine leather as you guys can see on the clip the genuine logo ni Scotty Thompson and embossed on that is the work ethic that he actually has and that's something that I really really like and I do know that it's actually genuine leather because you guys can see on the sides of that na leather siya talaga now moving to our fit support and the lockdown so for the fit my suggestion would be guys just google your US size and yan siya convert nyo siya to euro sizing so that you guys would know and for the fit, I did go with Euro 42 and I'll tell you guys about it combat Euro 42 siya. But my suggestion is just convert it guys directly. Kung 8.5 ka, convert mo sa Euro. US 8.5 ka, convert to Euro. Kung US 12 ka, convert mo to Euro. And you're pretty much good to go. Now for the support and the lockdown, so for the support, you have this feature that they call the lateral sway bar right here. And the lateral sway bar is something that I do like because it's a lightweight plastic material but it allows for lateral containment so that you won't roll over your ankle. It also has a wide base so that you have a wide base of support so that when you're doing the Euro steps, you won't really have any ankle sprains or any problems with that. Now, moving up to the lockdown, all you guys have to do is actually yank on the laces and you're pretty much good to go. And because of 
called the sway bar you're pretty much contained within the sneaker and of course the tpu upper will allow for really good uh, containment within the sneaker now moving to my favorite part on my initial impressions of course we are going to be talking about the aesthetics and i really really like the way the shoe looks and the reason for that is because it doesn't really look like and it strays away from the design elements that world balance actually does and it really looks unique we all know na wala siyang pinagkopyahan it looks so great and at the same time if tinabi mo siya with my other sneakers you wouldn't think that this was actually a world balance sneaker so kudos to world balance for actually doing something different this time especially that this is a signature sneaker so just very very excited to play in these particular sneakers so yeah so anyways that pretty much takes care of it of my initial impressions overall about the Scotty Thompson 1 so my very quick kwento to you guys kung bakit Euro 42 yung nabili ko the reason for that is because I'm actually the very last person to be able to cop the Scotty Thompson 1s sa online store ng World Balance and uh, how can I say that when I clicked on Euro 42 it said one stock left and wala nang stock sa iba so when I clicked it I checked it out I bought it guys nung nirefresh ko yung page sold out na siya so I can definitely say I'm probably the last person to be able to cop this so I'm just really really appreciative na nakakuha ko and you know I was able to cop one come on guys JDN reviews tas walang local brand that's just that's just weird guys so yeah so anyways that pretty much takes care of it if you guys are interested in catching my performance review on the World Balance Scott E. Thompson 1 all you guys gotta do is hit the subscribe button and of course click the notification bell so that you guys can stay updated kapag na-upload ko na siya anyways that pretty much takes care of it this was your boy JD and I'll see you guys on the next episode